given what the bailiff said in Liberation Square today, what was your reaction to that? Well, I, I was absolutely um, appalled by it. Uh, I knew perfectly well that he was going to say something like this. Um, Um, what the bailiff said today was utterly uh, appalling. I get to the point where I think these people surely can't sink any lower, but they always manage to plumb new depths. The speech of the bailiff was simply an outright political hijacking of Liberation Day in an attempt to defend the Jersey establishment. Uh, I've actually had abuse survivors in tears on the phone to me since I returned home from it. I mean, obviously, um, a lot of listeners would have heard it being broadcast live. And though it, it was very sort of a still atmosphere when it when it went out, there was no sort of response to, to what he was saying. I mean, what, what's your response to it? Well, m my response is that, that it was truly appalling, probably the most ill-judged political speech I can remember in post-war Jersey history. Um, uh, Senator Walker's speech in the Assembly was quite bad enough, uh, and I left the whole business in protest at that. Uh, frankly, had I been there on the platform when the bailiff delivered his speech today, I would have got up and walked out. And you decided not to go to Liberation Square today and, and hear what the bailiff had to say. Why, why was that? I was fully intending to go. I was present at the State's Assembly. But frankly, listening to Senator Walker's speech was quite enough. Uh, it was more than I could stomach for one day. Uh, it was truly uh, astonishing. Remember, this is a man who, a matter of a few weeks ago, was condemning a genuine, spontaneous public protest about the abuse issues as some kind of a political event and political hijacking of processes. Yet today, he and the bailiff hijacked nothing less than Liberation Day to promote their own concerns and interests. And it really was just disgusting. And what kind of reaction do you have from the abuse system? Well, um, there was one I was going to call anyway who I've spoken with, and I've also spoken to two others, and these tend to be older people I've spoken with this morning. Two of them were in tears at the speeches that were delivered that they heard on the radio. Uh, they were just mortified. I mean, words are barely adequate to describe how they feel about this. And what would your reaction be to those who may criticise you yourself for not going to the well, I, I went, uh, and I was going to be there. I was there in the, in the State's Assembly, but frankly, when I knew that it was simply being hijacked by people like Senator Walker and the bailiff for partisan political purposes, that was quite enough for me. And what do you think the reaction will be from the, from the, the, the crowds at, at Liberation Square? Do, do you think that some of them would have welcomed what the bailiff had to say? Um, I, I can't speak for what the average person might think. All I can say is that I found it truly appalling, and so have a number of the abuse survivors, and it was quite clearly uh, a, a profoundly ill-judged political hijacking of the Liberation Day celebrations.